So here it is Friday, June 28th, 2019 in Centennial, Colorado. It's 8, 10, 8, about 8, 10 p.m. It's dusk, it's still light outside. This is a scene looking out of my screen door in my front porch and up, and we're looking up at the place where two chickadees roost at night. I have this screen door slightly open and mounted my Android phone on top of the screen door. And I also broke down a large cover box and attached it to the back side of the screen door to, to conceal me. In a second, you'll start to hear a chickadee or chickadees getting closer. The, chad, the chatter you'll hear gradually gets louder. And I think they're, they're on their way to this roost here. And maybe they're making their last check for any predators in the area before landing in the roost. Or maybe they're curious as to why my screen door is jarred open a bit. Anyway, so here's the sounds of the chickadees as they get closer and closer. And you'll notice that the sounds get louder and louder as they get closer to the roost here. Finally, one came in for landing. I'm thinking this one might be the female. This little bird has been roosting here for about two years now. And up until a few months ago, she was the only one roosting here. But now she's found a mate. I cut out the, I cut out the next five minutes or so of the video because I don't hear any noises or movements going on from, from either bird. After that five minutes, finally her mate flies into the roost to join her. It seems to me like the bird on the right is the one that makes the most vocalizations. This is pretty funny. You'll see the one on the left do a nice Michael Jackson moonwalk toward the toward the bird on the right. Then she lets out a couple of tweets saying, hey, nice moonwalk, but that's close enough, mister. And right in here, my camera shut off, so I had to reach up and push the start button again so that's why you see the little jump in the video. I've noticed that this guy on the left is always the last one to settle down. It's like he stands guard until she falls asleep. What's really cool is when these chickadees finally go into sleep mode they will tuck their heads into their bodies and fluff up their feathers. They end up looking like a couple of large dust balls or, or dust bunnies. But at this point, because they don't seem to be settling down too much, I'm thinking the porch light and my screen door cardboard setup might be bothering them. So I turn off the porch light for about 20 minutes or so. When I turn the light back on, our little girl on the right has settled down and has gone into her dust bunny sleep mode. But the other is still standing guard as a sentry. So it is now I decide to take down my, take down my camera and give him some, some peace and quiet so he will go to sleep also. 
Now, later on, I snuck out and reached up and took a couple photos of uh, the chickadee on the right. Uh, this is him in his dust bunny outfit. Um, I think in the wintertime, they're, they ruffle their feathers up even quite a bit more than they do in the summertime. It's like 80 degrees out when I took the picture here. So quite warm, but uh, wintertime, I think, they're, I think they're ruffled up uh, quite a bit more than this. A few seconds later, I reached up and took a second picture. The flash from the first picture must have woke the chickadee up, and uh, he doesn't look too happy about me waking him up with the, with the flash. Sorry about that, my little chickadee. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening, uh, and we'll see you next time.